This is Net News Network headline news in three minutes for Tuesday, March 1st, 2022. The Ukraine crisis is worsening over the last few days, with Russia sending missiles into the capital city of Kiev today. The U.S. and the EU have effectively cut the Russians off with trading and banking. While this does isolate Russia, it's also going to have drastic impacts on the U.S. and the EU alike. The EU gets 40% of its gas from Russia. That's natural and petroleum. In 2021, the United States got 21% of its gas from Russia. So this is definitely going to affect the pocketbook when it comes to natural gas and petroleum products in both uh, countries. Russia is also a major exporter of fertilizer products which the U.S. is hurting for. We already have food shortages in this country, and this is only going to add to that problem. So on top of rising inflation, rising gas prices, this conflict, food shortages, supply chain problems, the feds are not going to be able to provide California with any water for farming this year. California is the U.S.'s largest producer of nuts and fruits and other agricultural products. So California looks to take a substantial hit this year between fertilizer shortages, no water from the feds for farming, and already the nation's highest gas prices at nearly $5 a gallon or more in some places. A federal appeals court on February 28th rejected an attempt by President Joe Biden's administration to partially lift the block on the military's COVID-19 vaccine mandate for a group of Navy SEALs. A federal judge in January blocked the mandate's enforcement for 35 Navy members, many of them SEALs, ruling that the Navy provided a process for adjudicating religious exemption applications, but by all accounts, it is theater. At the time of the ruling, the Navy had granted zero religious exemptions as of February 23rd. It had still granted none. Nonetheless, officials asked the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit to allow the military to take into account the unvaccinated status of 35 members when making deployment assignment and other operational decisions. They argued that forcing the Navy to deploy plaintiffs while they are unvaccinated threatens the success of critical missions and needlessly endangers the health and safety of other service members. Three-judge panel on the court rejected the request, noting the discrepancy between how the branches handled medical and religious exemption requests. Good news for the SEALs. Poland is advocating to NATO to make the Ukraine a member immediately. The Ukraine originally applied for NATO membership in 2008 and then withdrew that request in 2010 with the election of a president at the time who did not want NATO membership. Ukraine's current president was elected in 2019. It's unclear if he has reapplied for NATO membership officially. Should that happen, though, you can expect that this will turn into a European war because NATO has already warned Russia if they attack any NATO member country that they will instate Article 5 and take action immediately. There are many issues that lie ahead for us in 2022. I hope you're preparing for them, folks, as best you can. This is Net News Network, headline news in three minutes. For more, visit netnewsnetwork.net. Thanks for listening.